All right, so I want to look at uh, what we can get away with Maya on getting uh, skin weights a little bit closer than the default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the girl. So as you can see, right, um, she's not bound. Okay. I'm going to select the girl. I'm going to shift select the root. Uh, I'm going to come up here to the select hierarchy button, um, or you can just type select space minus sign HI. Um, but essentially that's the code right there. Um, so you could come and like type that in there and then hit enter. So girl, shift click, type that code, hit enter, or I'm just going to click this button. Okay. With that, I'm going to go ahead and bind the skin, but I'm going to make a couple of changes. Um, I've already set this up, uh, to the way I wanted it. So I changed uh, a few things from joint hierarchy to selected joints. So there is a bit that's been changed in here, so just kind of go through and just try to match this up. One of the big things is this. Uh, we only want one joint to affect one vertex, and so um, it'll be ugly, but it'll uh, really hard code some things. So I'm going to bind skin. Now if I come here and I do like a rotate, right, you can see we are now getting like these really nice tight bends, but they're like way too tight, right? And same thing with like... Um, the shoulders and things like that and so we can see we're still getting a classic cave-in problem and stuff like that and we're getting uh, just some ugly deformation um, but the next thing we can do if we click on our girl we can go up to deform and we can go to the delta mesh deformer and so now with the delta mesh deformer on if i go and i rotate some of this stuff now it's going to try to um, try to hold her form a little bit better. For example, it's not going to let that cave in as much. Okay. And then uh, making sure that we're in our channel box layer editor tab, we can pull up the delta mush. Uh, we can change the smoothing iterations, uh, the steps, all that sort of stuff. So if we put that at one, now we would have something kind of like uh, that. So it's holding that a little bit better. Um, if we bring that up to like 20, you'll see that it's going to try to hold some of this a little bit better, but there's no perfect numbers for these. So you're just going to have to play with and try to uh, get these as close as you can to something that feels right. Now, having said that, that this is not like a perfect solution. that's going to give you everything. It's just going to get you pretty close. And then you're going to need to go back in and uh, tweak the weights a little bit yourself. But as you can see, uh, that's not too bad getting maybe a little too much on the the rib cage there but uh, let's put that back at like uh, 15 put that at like 0.6 but yeah if you crank this up it, it'll it'll have some different results or, or reduce and so forth again if you turn this off you can see like what the difference is right and so by turning it back on you can see that that delta mush is is really helping the the bind that we just did okay so i'm going to unrotate this copy that okay so this is the the code you want to copy this little bit of code and you just want to paste it down here into this uh, metal line and once that's in there you can just hit enter um let me reset all this I'm going to put this back to 5. And then if I click here and then over here, so I have her selected, and I just come over here and I click F as in Frank, it'll uh, frame our girl. And so I can just middle mouse, drag her into this mesh line and that mesh line. I'm going to go grab my root and I drag that into the skeleton and that into the skeleton. And now I'm going to click apply and close, and we're just going to watch the, the magic happen.
Um, and now you can see Delta Mush is gone. Click the girl. Delta Mush is gone. So let's go check some things out. So now some of this has been baked into our deformer. So now we can see like we're getting uh, that application of the deformer. So if we pull that, so we can see we're getting some of these nice tight bends just right off the bat. And so like right here, not that you, that you don't need to, might want to come back in here and tweak some of your own weights yourself, but that's not bad for like a first um, go. This is way better than like the default. Like this is giving us really nice tight bends, which is uh, what we want. Uh, and you won't traditionally just get that out of the the straight uh, bake. Again, it's not perfect. Um, for example, like if we come to the jaw, right, you're still going to have to work something. But if you go to the neck, you may not really need to work this because this is actually pretty dang solid. And so it's something to um definitely get you further down the line or we go to the knee you know, our our classic uh problem is we bend you know with the basic deformer and we don't have this tight bend but this is great that's fantastic and so like you may not really need to work that area um here you can see we're getting a little bit of heel crunch so you might need to tweak some things like that but that's not bad Yeah, so this gets you like, I don't know what kind of percentage I'd say, maybe 90%, uh, 85%, I don't know. Um, but this gets you, uh, gets you pretty close uh, out of the gate.